once again right here from TJ Ribs on Acadian at I-10. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Powers, and welcome. This is the Overtime Live with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics with the man right here, Athletic Director Roman Banks. How you doing, my friend? Doing well, Chris. How you doing today? Man, making it, my man. Make it. What is shrimp-tastic out here today? One of the <laughs> specials. That's 20 shrimp fried or sautéed for twenty one ninety five, And, of course, that big cat drink. Have you tried that yet for 8 bucks? You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> you're, trying <to> tell every, <laughs> you're trying to tell everybody I'm, a, I'm Catholic about this. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That is delicious. And all kind of weekly uh, specials yeah. here at TJ Ribs. We're going to tell you about next week's uh, specials coming up here a little later on as well. And, of course, we got so many things coming up here at Southern University. Uh, obviously, homecoming next week. We're going to talk about that coming up. Uh, we've got all kinds of games and events. The volleyball is going on right now as we speak. They just uh, tried that over at Seymour Gymnasium. Just got that going so lots of activities in fall you would expect that coach yeah we back to normalcy and uh obviously uh we're very excited about you know being able to get back into this rhythm and uh we wishing volleyball a shout out right now hopefully they go take care of business they've been having some big wins on the road and so we're pleased uh with all our sports i think next week we'll be bringing soccer up and so uh, we kind of excited about it. Basketball practice have started, and so we we excited about the whole shebang as we get back. You got a lot going on at one time, so it feel pretty good. And Lacumba is coming, we hear. And it's going to be a beautiful Lacumba right there at the Tony Clayton Championship Plaza. Tell us, Coach, about all that. We had a Lacumba sighting oh, on man. yesterday. He's on campus. Uh, all you have to do is pass by the Tony Clayton Plaza right in front of the field house. And you will see, and you will see Lacumba. You know the bad thing about the Lacumba, though, younger than us, <laughs> fifty years old this yeah. year. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Happy anniversary. Yes, that's exactly right. And what to celebrate that with a Lacumba coming up? We got a big concert coming up too. It's going to be coming up November the fifth. That's at uh, the uh, FG Clark Activity Center. Uh, Tucker is going to be in the house. Tucker in the house. We have Tucker, have Lacey in. You know, tonight, I uh, don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but uh, that Friday before the fam game, you know, we we coming out to party with a purpose. We're going to celebrate a, 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 a pre-victory, and so we're looking forward to it. We already have uh, the phone calls being made that the Rattlers say they're coming over to take over our own pre-victory party, and so we look forward to having fun. The last time we was there, uh, uh, before the pandemic, 2019, they had something similar. They invited all the uh, uh, Southern Knights, and uh, we all had a good time. And so uh, we're looking forward to make sure that we come out and support our events so those Rattlers won't embarrass us. No question about that big time. And then obviously, too, some other things. We, we are at uh, Texas Southern this past week in Arlington, Texas. Let's uh, show some highlights of that game uh, in uh, Arlington where, uh, of course, Globe Life Park it's where the Texas Rangers used to play uh, baseball. It's now a football facility. We've got some of the highlights we want to show you right here for that ball game. A tough loss, Coach, uh, but uh, in sports, that's what happens uh, sometimes. Even That's why you don't bet on sports. I don't bet on sports. I've been in sports for years and years. I do not bet on sports because you never know when something like that's going to happen. Texas Southern had 18 straight losses in the SWAC comes to uh, play against Southern University, had lost uh, nine straight times against Southern University, hadn't won since 2011, and Texas Southern wins the game right there in Arlington, Texas. Here's some of the highlights of that. Beautiful day. Uh, they had a good, uh, you know, brisk uh, win through it. Here's a beautiful uh, slant pass right here that uh, that McDaniels was getting on and keep going on, and here's them in the inside the red zone, and the rushing is still leading the SWAC in rushing. This gets it right down to the goal line, and then they punch it in from right there. Uh, Southern University football, the Jaguars are number one in rushing. Hard to believe they're 22nd in the nation in rushing because they're getting almost right around 200 yards uh, per ball game in that. And that's crazy. But, uh, Coach, uh, I know you guys had fun uh, at that game as well. Well, obviously, uh, you know, I won't say we had fun because we yeah. lost the game. Right. But, obviously, uh, you know, that showdown classic is a very good classic that's being developed. I thought uh, moving the game to Alderton was, was – uh, uh, by being there was a very nice uh, attendance. Yep. And I think that our fans really enjoyed it by the emails and the response that we got back. And I think that uh, those promoters did a good job. And, and obviously we have another year on the contract, and so we're looking forward to going there. But I think a lesson learned for our team is sometimes you just go down history and look at it where we didn't beat them so many times, but you actually have to play the ball game. And another lesson learned is that uh, the game is about inches. 
Yes. And obviously, uh, uh, you have to take advantage of all your opportunities. And so uh, it's very important for us to go this week uh, to Pine Bluff and get a victory. And, uh, you know, that's the most important part for us right now. And I think that also – you uh, you have to realize these teams playing against Southern University and and uh, they really get up to play Southern University. So we have to be prepared for everybody uh, every night, no matter the outcome or what happened in the past or how dominant we've been. Uh, uh, these student athletes have to realize that we have to play the game and uh, we have to be prepared going into the game. I'm very excited about the situation that you know. Obviously, uh, you know I think we had over 300 yards rushing. Yes. And uh, we continue to do well in that category. But I think that Coach Rollins is going to clean up some things, and I expect them to go out uh, this weekend and play a very good game and bring home the victory. And Marquise McLean, the transfer from Auburn, had a real big game of that. You saw him score earlier on that jet sweep. Uh, he also had uh, his highest uh, receptions of the year as well. So Marquise McLean, big guy. I know Coach Pete a couple of times looked at him and thought he was a tight end. He's a wide receiver, guys. He is a big wide receiver, big-bodied wide receiver. be tough to uh, – to handle but uh, all in all the experience will we be back in Arlington next year yes uh, we have another year uh, on that contract and so uh, uh, we're looking forward to going back uh, to that classic and I think that this this game continue to get better and better I thought we had over 10,000 of our fans there as they calculated those numbers up and gave me those totals and so I'm very excited about how we travel and uh, and obviously we came up short uh, but I, I, I do think that I look forward for this team bouncing back uh, this weekend and so we can continue on our championship run. Will it be in the same stadium uh, there at Globe uh, Life Park or back to the Cotton Bowl? Uh, uh, no, it'll be, it'll be in Arlington. We have a two-year contract with Arlington, uh, and so it'll be in Arlington. I, I, you know, for the most part, uh, you know, the Cotton Bowl kind of got a little congested and our travels and things was tough, so they wanted to try a new venue to make sure that, uh, you know, we had easy access in and out. And, and uh, obviously, from the student athletes and everyone, they enjoyed the game. So I'm looking forward to going back. And then after the next season, we, we will uh, reevaluate it. All right. It ought to be fun with that. And uh, definitely, and, and I know the, the crowd had a fun, fun time with that. No question about that. All right. We've got a big show coming up. we got the legend, Coach Pete Richards, coming up here next. Yeah, we got the legend himself. I'm very excited, you know, to hear from Coach Rich and his new role. Uh, with Southern University Athletics and uh, you know also uh, you know we are very excited uh, to name our field after Coach Rich he's our own true legend and uh, you know I, I just think it speaks volumes for us in recruiting to be able to talk about this phenomenon of a, of a man that we have to represent Southern University and we can celebrate him you know right here you know why he's still here on earth with us. No no doubt about that we've also got uh, Marlon Hollins coming up as well we're going to talk about homecoming, all what you need to do to get ready for homecoming and all that kind of good stuff. We're going to be that coming up. we got Coach Funtenow. we got Coach Funtenow in the house. Yep, he is in the house. Hey. Uh, talk about uh, Southern University soccer. We're getting ready for the SWAC tournament coming up soon. And uh, then we've also got so many things to talk about, the gold standard, uh, the, this helmet that you can have, or a small replica of this helmet. We're going to talk about that coming up and how you can get it. And always the specials, as we mentioned, the shrimp tastic going on. That's 20 shrimp. Sautéed or fried, twenty-one ninety-five, and the big can't drink for eight dollars. Now next week, and we want to remind you to join us here every single uh, time that we have the show. You can go to gojacksports.com. We're going to have a special homecoming edition uh, that'll be next week, the twenty-first, and we want you to come here because next week we've got great specials. And, and, and before you get going, before your head thinks uh, bigger than your stomach, next week, get this, coach. All the wings you can eat next week, and one pitcher beer for twenty four ninety five. And before you get going, oh, I can put down some uh, some wings. They are Jurassic Park wings. I mean, them things are huge. You know that now you're talking my language, Chris. Uh, you know I'm a chicken guy, so <laughs> so uh, actually, I, you know, I, I was able to bargain with them for that special, and we're excited about that because you know all our alums and everybody be coming in town on Thursday, and, and this is the opening celebration uh, to homecoming uh, next Thursday. And uh, so we look forward to having the cheerleaders and everyone in the house uh, next week. And uh, all the coaches and staff should be here to take pictures. So we're looking forward to having a very good time. No question about that. All right, when we come back, we've got Coach Pete Richardson right here with us. Coming up right after this timeout, this is, of course, Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right here from TJ Ribs on Acadia at I-10 right here on Pelican Sports DJ TV. DJ Neff. Thank you. 
Are you interested in a college major with numerous career opportunities? Look no further than the Southern University College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. Agriculture is more than working on a farm. Our students are gaining hands-on experience and conducting cutting-edge research in the areas of agricultural sciences, family and consumer sciences, and urban forestry and natural resources. Our students also participate in internships and travel to national conferences. Our student organizations include students from diverse backgrounds with close bonds. These organizations provide our students with leadership and personal development skills needed to help them gain employment with top industry leaders. If you're not sure what you want to major in at Southern University, I encourage you to try AG. For more information about the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences, visit our website at www.suagcenter.com or call 225-771-2242. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Official chicken of Southern University. Woo! <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Welcome back, everybody, right here as we continue the Overtime Live with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics from TJ Ribs right here. Don't forget, next week we're going to be right here at TJ Ribs. In fact, all the way through football season and basketball season, and we're going to be doing it right here. But next week it's a homecoming special. We're going to have Coach Rollins back here on the program talking about the football game and the game against Prairie View A&M and the homecoming game. We'll talk to Kedrick Taylor. Also, the Southern Band will be here. Kedrick Taylor, of course, leader of the band. You heard him on the mic. If you went to the TSU game this week, you heard him on the mic big time, getting the band ready to go. And then, of course, uh, we're going to have Care South uh, Medical and Dental here, who's been a big part of Southern University Athletics. They will be here on the program as well. Right now, we've got Coach Pete Richardson in the house from Southern University. Legendary coach. What's happening, Coach? How are you doing today? Glad Man, to see I can't, you again. I can't get rid of you, brother. You're on the you're on the game with me every weekend, and now, now you're here with me. Follow me on a Thursday night here at TJ Ribs. Yeah, we gather a whole lot last few months. He'll do anything to get a free meal. <laughs> I mean, just anything. No, I'm just, you love you to death. You know that. And Coach, I enjoy you big time being on the broadcast. What does it mean to you to be on the broadcast? Because it's not an easy transition to do, and you picked it up immediately, and you were basically a, a, a easy to do it. Well, you know, it's a, it's a little different uh, as far as learning it, to try to correspond with someone back and forth. And, and of course, uh, you know, you just talk about uh, what you know, you know, and they ask you questions about the game as long as they keep that from that guidelines that uh, you can feel comfortable doing it. The only problem that he's done so far 
he's busted five of our headphones from slamming it down when a bad play happens. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, sometimes that happens a great deal. <laughs> Man, I've been, I've been with you some, some, some times when you were mad and all that stuff, and of course, that's why you were so successful. The second winning as coach, not only at Southern University, but since 1990, the second winning as coach of the state of Louisiana, Les Miles, has just more wins than you. 128 wins, 62 losses. Let's talk about the 128 wins, Coach. Did you think you would get that many uh, victories at Southern University? Well, you know, I didn't think I'd be around that long. You know, when you come into an organization that had a number of coaches previously before you got there, and uh, I was portable with Dr. Spice gave me an opportunity to, to bring in my own staff, and, and, I, and I had some excellent people that game plan for me. We did an outstanding job, and I'm really thankful for, for those individuals, too. No question <laughs> about that. And five SWAC championship games, five SWAC championships. That is impressive. And, you know, I had somebody ask me, how do you judge a, a coach? It, it, it wins and losses, that's game percentage. You obviously go by championships, uh, recruiting. How many people you put in the NFL or in the next level, making it their good father, uh, good worker, period, a good head on their shoulders, and winning championships, you won five SWAC championships. Well, I was fortunate enough to have some outstanding coaches around me that did a good jam job of game preparations and of course we did a, a great job of recruiting in the state of Louisiana especially around the New Orleans area they had some excellent high school programs and a number of those people came and, and did an outstanding job for me four <laughs> national championships as well four national championships that in itself is big big brings you can get for the cha national championships well you know playing for that uh, it makes it a lot easier recruiting and plus the players get excited about playing in those types of games. We had a chance to play in a number of large venues throughout the country, and that helped out a great deal as far as not only getting students to come to Southern University, but enable our recruiting to reach those areas. And the big one, even the national championships, the SWAC championships, 5-0 and against Eddie Robinson, the, the legendary Eddie Robinson coach. Never lost a game against Eddie Robinson. Well, I was fortunate uh, to play against Eddie. He had some outstanding programs in his time and have an opportunity to come in and play against him. And it was a big game for our, for both institutions to be able to explore, play on national television to, to get the national uh, recognition that you need for both institutions. And coach, obviously too, as we watch this team now, let's come, let's come to this year and watching Southern University this year, we both said you played uh, defense for the Buffalo Bills and, and you you know, great defenses here. The Dog Day D here in uh, Southern University, uh, right now, it, it's tough to be a defensive player because if you lower your head and the running back lowers his head before you, you lower your head, that's targeting against the defense and ejected from the game, 15-yard penalty, ejected from the game, and will be suspended for the next half of the next game. Well, I think that's the major change I've seen uh, defensively in the last few years uh, with the targeting penalty to not only penalize the player with the 15 yards, but you can also extract them from the game. I think that what the conferences and the national NC2A wanted to do is explore to get more scoring in the game. But also it really uh, hurts the guy defensively to be able to go out and get ejected from the game and, and uh, cost your team defensively. No question about that. And, of course, offensively, this team, uh, McDaniel is a good quarterback. There's no question about that. Out of the three, he's the most consistent quarterback. But you've got an athlete on that uh, bench, and he's finally getting healed. It looks like he will be ready to go this weekend, Coach Rollins tells me. He will be ready to go, and we're talking about uh, Ladarius Skelton for the UAPB game. So he gets to go home, his hometown, and he usually has big games against the Golden Lions. Well, he's very fortunate at SU this year. You have two fine quarterbacks, and they really got another one on the yep. team also uh, that's, a, that's a good quarterback also. But I think what they have to do is nurture, and, and uh, uh, McDaniels is, is – having a, a good year he's starting to learn the team is is following him and getting in behind him as leader but also you have to find things that uh, the other quarterback can do uh, because he has started won some big games for you he he had been uh, banged up a little the past few uh, few weeks so he's back so uh, he's had an instrumental role in some things that he can do and highlight him on his team no question a big game coming up of course this week when we take on the UAPB Golden Lions that game is in uh, Pine Bluff Arkansas ought to be a very tough uh, football game Pine Bluff is always ready. They represented the West last year in the or in the spring uh, for the championship game. Not quite where they were last year. They're kind of falling down a little bit, but it's still going to be tough. It's always tough to go into Pine Bluff and beat them in their stadium. Well, Pine Bluff is a, a, a tough 
place to play. I mean, even when they come here, they always have a, uh, they play hard, and it seems like that's a big game for them when they play Southern University. And of course, they in the spring, I think they're five and one, along with Alcorn. So they're going to be able to affordable for to go up and play against them. And anytime you go on their place and play, especially uh, with the quarterback that we had that came down and played for us, now he's going back home. So it's going to be a big game for both teams. The only team to beat us in the spring. The only team to beat us in the spring last year was UAPB. Well, they beat us there at the last part of that game, and it was a very exciting game, and uh, uh, they took advantage of some opportunities. We came up a little short, but I'm quite sure that Rollins is going to have his team ready to go because he understands the magnitude of this football game. No question about that. And Coach, again, we got big games coming up at, uh, at A.W. Mumford Stadium on the Pete Richardson Field. Definitely need to buy your tickets. Go to the uh, ticket office and get your tickets for the games uh, coming up, obviously. Uh, you start with Prairie View A&M at home for the big homecoming game. Uh, we also play a, 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 a very tough game against Jack. Or excuse me, Alcorn State's next. Then uh, Jackson State, then FAMU. I mean, my goodness, we've got some big games coming up. But four big games at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Well, October has always been a tough month for SU because apparently over, over the years since I've been associated, uh, the rivalry games begin to pop up. And, of course, uh, you look at Prairie View. Uh, I think Coach Dooley is doing a great, great job with their program. They're scoring points, so we're going to have to be able to, to hold them off and, and make sure the defense step up and can and correct that part of it. And, of course, Alcorn, they won the championship last year, so they're going to be an affordable thing. And, of course, Jackson State has got a, a fine program. No though. question about that. Get your tickets now. Again, the 23rd. That's when Prairie View A&M will be for homecoming. Then on the 30th, the night before Halloween, let's make it scary for the Alcorn State Braves. That game at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Then FAMU, uh, that is going to be in November, November the 6th, and in November 13th, the final uh, home game of the season against Jackson State and the Tigers. Get your tickets now. Get your tickets big time at the ticket office. Let's make it so loud at A.W. Mumford Stadium that we just make the uh, players, the opposing team, disoriented. Well, it's time for the uh, fans to show up. I think that we got a fine program that uh, uh, the coach is putting out on the field. we got some exciting teams that's coming in. Got some good coaches and good outstanding programs. So, especially in the month of October. So, this is time for the fan base to show up. And I think the players really appreciate that part of it. No question about that. I want to thank Louisiana Lottery for making this show possible. Also, the Louisiana Office of Tourism with the Lieutenant uh, Billy Dungester's office for doing a great job featuring your soul all uh, year long going up with uh, universities all across the state of Louisiana. He's a big supporter of ours. Thank you very much for all of the supporters. We couldn't do this without that. And of course TJ Ribs right here on Acadian at I-10. Always a big deal to come here to Acadian and get some delicious food. The shrimp tastic going on tonight, $21.95. That's 20 shrimp, sautéed or fried any way you want it. Uh, that is tonight. And then the big cat drink, $8. The big cat drink to get it right here at TJ Ribs right here on Acadian at I-10. When we come back, we're going to be talking about all the homecoming activities and what you need to do to get ready for homecoming and a whole lot more in two weeks. That's coming up right here next with Marlon Hollins on set as we continue right here with the Overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics, right here from TJ Ribs on Acadia on I-10 on Pelican Sports TV. Care South offers a wide range of comprehensive medical, behavioral health, and dental services. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, we want to thank the Parish of Ascension, East Baton Rouge, and Iberville for allowing us to serve you. Come out to any of our locations where family is serving families. I'm Ray Belton, president of Southern University and a and College. You know, when it comes to health care, we men are hard-headed through pain, injury, or illness. Sometimes we still won't go see a doctor. But to use a sports term, don't pass on your health. Not seeing a doctor puts men at greater risk for today's top killers. So go see your doctor and don't pass on your health. Need a doctor? Call our Lady of the Lake Physician Group at 765-5500 today. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. 
walk-ons. Because everyone needs a little playing time. Home, away, any game day. At walk-ons, we'll help you do game day right. Competition for this house is fierce. Mm -hmm. Relax, you got a team to help you out. Huddle up. You have a home buying edge. A verified approval from Rocket Mortgage verifies your income, credit, and assets all up front, putting you ahead of regular pre-approval and letting sellers know you're serious. Let's do this. Brilliant. When you need a competitive edge in a crowded market, Rocket can. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Welcome back right here to TJ Rims on Acadia at I-10. This is the uh, live overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. And, of course, here today we've got some great guests, some great specials. The twenty one ninety five shrimp tastic, 20 shrimp fried or sautéed, big cat drink uh, for $8. Next week, Coach Rollins will be right here on the program. We've got a very special homecoming edition next week right here. So all of our friends, homecoming friends, whether you're coming from out of state, out of city, whatever, out of the country, a lot of big alumni for Southern University, come on back here and have some delicious food with us next week because we're going to have all the wings you can eat next week and a pitcher of beer for twenty one ninety five. That is next week, and we're going to see these big wings here today. These wings were athletes. These chickens were athletes before uh, that before they they got you know. Buttered up and all that stuff. It had to be. It oh, to my be goodness athlete. gracious, man. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Coach Rollins will be here with us next week. We're going to be talking the band. The band's in the house. The human jute box will be in the house with Kedrick Taylor. And then, of course, Care South Medical and Dental is going to be in the house. My friend Matt is going to be in the house right here. All right. Right here, new to the set, first time on TV, Marlon Rock yes. Holland. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm happy to be here. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you to my wife and my daughter. Uh, my wife was actually the 80th Miss Southern University, 2010, 2011. So homecoming as her escort means something different because we are Southern. That keeps him out of the doghouse for several months now. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. It does. It does. No question about that. All right, my friend. Well, I tell you what, we've got all kinds of things. We're going to be looking at it right here. Uh, tell us about um, Yard Coming. Tell us what that's all about right here. Yeah, so Yard Coming, Yard Coming was birthed from the idea and the experience of knowing that Southern is the standard. So it's a lot of, of rhetoric we hear around the nation and around the country about greatest homecoming on earth and different things like that. But, but when we are a Jaguar, we know what it means to come back to the yard. And that's why we're rebranding this thing as Yard Coming. And we're taking a different approach to it this year. We want to incorporate everybody. So we're going to kick off things that week at the SU Family Reunion, which is powered by the Division of Student Affairs. But this year in the pandemic, we learned a lot of things. We learned that it was a great value of reaching out to family and understanding what the Jaguar Nation means. And it means things greater than, than your average, I'm coming to the game on Saturday. It means ongoing engagement. It means things like the kids on. So on Saturdays at the games, we have different opportunities that we'll look at as it relates to the actual game day experience. And I'm, I'm fast forwarding through the week because Saturday is so significant because we start the day off with the parade, the annual parade at 8 a.m. that morning where Jaguars from far and wide get up and we bring Jaguars from all ages to get there. And then we move into the tailgate season. But if you're on campus on Friday, you know what it means when those RVs roll across the hump. You know what it means when they pull up and they park at the mini dome. And you know what it means on game day when we are walking around campus for getting ready to go into A.W. Mumford Stadium, right? So from the kids zone to the day party experience where we'll have headliners, local artists, HD for president. We have Sweet Southern Heat, Mike Foster Project, and we even have some local alums. We have a former, former drum major, Brendan Garrett, and a former alum, Ryan Anthony, who will be performing at that day party. Party too. So we are building up the experience that entire day. And if you haven't caught our Jag Walk um, with Coach Rollins, I think you might want to 
check that out too. Yeah, no question about that. Tell, what's the Jaguar Pandemonium? Tell us about that. Jaguar Pandemonium. So, in addition to all of the football things we have going on, we know that in the fall we introduce our basketball team, and we introduce them in a way that the fans can feel, they can touch them, that they are invited into the Jaguar Nation, and we bring things like the Golden Blues Dance Team, the award-winning cheerleaders, and we all know the Human Chew Box will be in the building that day. No question about that. I'll tell you, it's been known as Southern University as the best homecoming in HBCU's period. It's a, If you don't get there three days in advance for the game, you're not getting into the stadium. I mean, it's just that crazy. Uh, it's unbelievable it, to see that many people on. And the walk, I think with Coach Rollins bringing that walk back where the Jaguars football team walks right there in the middle of the fans doing the tailgating, I think that's excellent. It is. It is. It's a, the, the game day experience at Southern University is different because we're the standard. And that's something that we push with even our campaigns like the gold standard helmet campaign and different things that we infuse in athletics. Because when we think about homecoming experiences and we think about homecoming games, it's better if we look at the plethora of things going on. So Thursday, we actually start in homecoming. You said three days earlier. You're right. Because Thursday, we're starting here with the overtime series. Then Friday, we have the private social, the, F, the AD's overtime series party held in the field house. And that roll into Saturday and Sunday. And we did mention the pandemonium on Sunday. But earlier that Sunday, Jaguar Nation, we want you to come out and help us clean up the campus. Well. No question about that. And we just picked this guy off the street and start talking about Southern. <laughs> well, tell, tell everybody what you do now at Southern University. Okay, so at Southern University now, um, like I said, it's, it's such a home and a niche thing for me. So when I conceptualize yard coming and the breadth of what it meant to bring people back to the yard, um, connections. Jaguar Nation family is what led me back here. I had an opportunity to meet with our athletic department, and we begin to build things out from that way. So uh, picked up off the street, I like to say I'm a son of the system because I went to the undergrad campus and I went to the law center. So the blue and gold pride bleeds deep within us. But I also want to mention something else about Saturday. Our game day experience is different because we have the Jaguar Den experience and we also have the Sweet experience, which are two things as fans I'm telling you you want to get a part of. No question about that, man. You did such a great job. Everything was great with that, man. I'm in big time, but your car's being told the Baton Rouge City Police. Are here. No, I'm, just, I'm just joking, my friend. Martin, you did a great job, my man. Good Thank to you. see you, brother. Thank you. Thank and you. And look out. This guy's going to be partying. So wherever you see him at uh, for the homecoming weekend, follow him because that's where the party's at right here. Okay. You understand? Okay. And I wanted to mention something else. Um, the tailgate experience. We know that we tailgate before the game, but this time we want to offer a new experience after the game, the reverse tailgate tailgate where we invite members of the Jaguar Nation on the field to ex experience the human jukebox versus the PV Panther marching band as well as enjoy some time in the end zone with DJ Neff who's already rocking out tonight. Reverse tailgating. I like that. Uh, passports $20, $10 with yes. uh, valid student ID? Yes. Yes, sir. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. A so I'll, I'll, I'll be able to have to bring my voice up doing the post-game show on the radio. I have to bring it up because y'all going to be partying. While I'm working, y'all are partying on the, on the field, right? The yard coming experience. Look out, man. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I like that. All kind of activities coming to Southern University for homecoming. That'll be a lot of fun. When we come back, I, we may be cousins. I'm not sure. His name is Coach <laughs> Fontenot uh, from the soccer team. He's going to be joining us right here. We're talking SWAC uh, tournament and a whole lot more. When we come back, right back here, it's overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. We're right here at TJ Ribs. Inviting you to come see us on Thursday. Go to GoJagsports.com and get the dates that we're going to be here. We'll be here next Thursday for the special homecoming edition. We invite you to come on by. We'll be telling you about more specials and what have you. Coach Rollins will be here and a whole lot more. We'll be back in just a moment right here on uh, Pelican Sports TV from TJ Ribs on Acadia at I-10. Go Jags. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history.
Legendary Import Group. Exceptional service and a rare collection. You'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We, we are, are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm team legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. Imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose. Right? Yeah, I'm come to lose and I When the needs are evident, but the solutions are not, a well-calculated design steeped in hard-earned expertise is what we've built our reputation on. Go ahead, ask us to prove it, because we'd love to. Performance is what drives us. It's how we foster a culture of expertise and informs our approach to complicated challenges. CSRS defines our client relationships by how we perform and the chemistry we build together with a comprehensive, masterful integration of engineering and development, program management and disaster recovery, and as client advisors and planners. After more than four decades of careful, strategic growth, we have refined our multidisciplinary approach to encompass a diverse collection of services designed to revolutionize what it means to build a better community. Our legacy is easy to see. It's found in our projects, our people, and it's evident in the places our work has touched. And we've resolved to prove this legacy every single time. We are accelerators, trusted facilitators of public and private sectors, the force that imagines, designs, and builds the bedrock to propel tomorrow's stronger, smarter communities. Because what we do isn't about buildings or developments or infrastructure. It's about ensuring that the parts which are fragile in the communities we call home are carefully considered and thoughtfully redesigned to be stronger and smarter for the benefit of tomorrow. The proof of who we are is all around us. So go on, ask us to prove it, because we're ready to. CSRS, building stronger, smarter communities together. Welcome back, everybody, right here to uh, TJ Ribs on uh, Acadia and I-10. We are right here with delicious ribs and a whole lot more. And, again, uh, the shrimp-tastic going on here today, $20, uh, $21.95 for 20 shrimp, sautéed or fried, whatever you wanted. And uh, also the Big Cat uh, drink, which is $8. That's a lot of fun there. Oh, man, you're going to have a lot of fun here. And we got long trips tomorrow to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, so we definitely got to be careful. All right, we got uh, Coach Jeremy Fontenot. We're cousins. We're related yes, with sir. this other program yes, with it. Sir. How you doing, my friend? I'm feeling good. His uh, neck of the woods, his family from Mamu, Louisiana. And some people say Mamu. <laughs> Mamu. That's where yes, they do sir. tradition still Mardi Gras in there. Yes, they do. Yes, Big they time. do. They chase the chicken around and all that stuff. And Today, I, never, I never chase one. I never did either. Only when my <laughs> grandmother told me I had to chase it to get supper that night. But I can tell you this: we're going to have one right here, some some big uh, wings right here in just okay. a moment. So we won't have to chase anything. I, we might have to fend off coach, but we'll, we'll get it down here somehow or another. We'll give him one or two. That's right. That's right. Well, a big uh, coming off with some uh, big wins uh, against Mississippi Valley State five to one, and then against Alcorn <coughs> State five to one as well. Uh, that was uh, all at home. Now you're on the road for the next few, uh, three games: October 22nd, Friday. Right at Alabama A&M over in Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah, right. We 
That, we was actually, um, we started off conference a little slow and we had a couple of things in-house that we had to take care of. So he, I even had to check myself in, the, in one of the games. So we went back to the fundamentals and everything. And this weekend we was able to come out and play strong and play strong for each other. Then you'll stay in the, in the state of Alabama, Alabama State University, Montgomery, Alabama, then wrap the season at Jackson State. That's on October 29th. And then the uh, SWAC uh, Women's Soccer Tournament. Tell us about that starting November the 4th through the 7th. I mean, these first three games are big for us. Uh, we can change the whole dynamic of, of where we're placing that. We, we feel like right now we're already in the tournament, but these three games, we could be between second place and seventh place. Um, so it, it's some beatable games. Uh, we know where we're at. We know who we are. So it, it's the tournament, we're not really worried about where we um uh, that right now is just about winning these next couple of games. So this week we off and we've just been taking care of ourselves, getting more in shape, getting more, getting stronger because we know these next three games is going to be big for us. And you, it's not like you got uh, players that are not taking the shots. You got mm -hmm. two players in the top ten in shots. Yeah. Uh, Gifty Tor Southern uh, with 2.83 uh, per game, mm -hmm. and then also Elisa Terry. Uh, two point six seven per game. All right, that's 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 basically news to me because I don't pay attention to that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they they definitely um, two new players that we uh, recruited in. One freshman, one a transfer. Um, basically, is still a freshman because she didn't play her first first year injured, and we knew they was able. They was going to be ones that come out and take the shots for us that we need and put more pressure on the, our returning players and things like that. So it definitely was a plus by by getting them and getting that addition to the team. No question about that. When it comes to goals at 50%, Soar is number five, while Webb is number six, both at 50%. They're basically tied right, for number correct, five. Right. And I just, that goes back to that pressure we're talking about uh, with Amaya Webb. She actually, you know, she's a senior this year, and this is probably being her best season, uh, being able to be free, being able to do some things that uh, she ha we knew she could do, but she never really showed it. So I did. I, I, I hate to say it, but if I had to give a player right now the the most improved, it'll be her, and that's a senior year. So, so I, that's the reason why I hate to say it because this is our last year. But at the same time, yeah, she proved a lot um, this year compared to her other years. And Tour has two game-winning shots. Yeah, two yeah, game-winning goals. That's pretty impressive. Definitely coming from a freshman, um, she she had a heads up um, from the beginning. You know, she wanted to be the freshman player of the year, and so that was a conversation she had from day one. The show and proved that she can play in the conference and can um, be strong in the conference. So uh, she's backing it up well. Um, we just got to keep put um, pushing her and understand that um, that yeah, she's a freshman. She's gonna make those freshman mistakes, but she got a long time to go from here. And another uh, signee from uh, Houston, Houston, Texas area. Right, yeah. Texas seems to be getting really, really, I mean, the whole nation's getting big mm -hmm. in soccer. I mean, not like it used to be where nobody, when I played, it was football, basketball, and baseball, but now soccer's a major, major sport. And Texas seems to be really getting a lot of talent coming into Southern University, and she, of course, one of a midfielder forward uh, from Houston, Texas. Correct, correct. Um, that's my biggest recruiting area uh, in the, uh, that besides California and Florida. Florida. Uh, Texas is my biggest one, but Texas is you. You put a Texas at the top three on the top team um, soccer programs in the world, and they're they're doing good. They're building up, but we still got some more players that not just her in that Texas area. We got some California girls. Um, we still recruiting out of the Florida area, but yeah, definitely Texas is one of my biggest recruiting areas. So be sure to go to GoJackSports.com. You can follow them on uh, against the Alabama AM and m uh, in Huntsville, Alabama, then Alabama State. But try to make that trip October 29th on a Friday at 4 p.m. Jackson, Mississippi to take on uh, Jackson State. That ought to be a fun game. That'll be the final definitely. game before the SWAC so uh, soccer tournament. Yeah, that definitely will be a big game. Like always, a big game. It's always close. Uh, it's always physical. I think our two teams are the most physical teams in the conference. 
and everything. Everybody wait to see that game right there in our conference and see where we at. I mean, because those those games, okay, if we win, we could be we could change the whole uh, dynamic of the tournament. And then if they win, they could change the whole thing. A tie probably was the only thing that would keep the the standards the same. So it's definitely always a game that we look forward to. We understand that they're going to play physical. We have to be physical. You know, we both right now in the weight room and everything. Probably uh, outside the ground, the only two teams that's really hit the waist like we do. So it's definitely going to be a game to see. No question. Coach Jeremy Funtno, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you as always, Coach Funtno, soccer team right here. Somebody just came and gave me some free tickets. I've got free. Oh, I've got. Uh, Manager Chabot said, i got to give these away. They're Prairie View A&M Southern University. If you haven't registered yet, we're going to be doing that coming up here in the next segment. So go by and register for those tickets and also a parking pass, a coveted parking pass right here. So you can win that. That is coming up right here next. Good to see Lady Jag in the house right here. We've got more as we continue with uh, Overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. We're going to talk about the gold standard coming up right here next on Public and Sports TV. We'll also give away the tickets and we've got some delicious food being served right here in this front. We're going to do that coming up as we return for our last segment right here. Overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right here from TJ Ribs on Acadia and I-10 on Pelican Sports TV. I'm Ray Belton, president of Southern University and a and College. You know, when it comes to healthcare, we men are hard-headed through pain, injury, or illness. Sometimes we still won't go see a doctor. But to use a sports term, don't pass on your health. Not seeing a doctor puts men at greater risk for today's top killers. So go see your doctor and don't pass on your health. Need a doctor? Call our Lady of the Lake Physician Group at 765-5500 today. Preparing a meal. It's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food. That's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Home, away, any game day. At Walk-ons, we'll help you do game day right. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand-battered, cooked-to-order, always fresh, never, ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Official Chicken of Southern University. for this house is fierce. Mm -hmm. Relax, you got a team to help you out. Huddle up. You have a home buying edge. A verified approval from Rocket Mortgage verifies your income, credit, and assets all up front, putting you ahead of regular pre-approval and letting sellers know you're serious. Let's do this. Brilliant. When you need a competitive edge in a crowded market, Rocket can. That duck is fired up. Rocket. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton and Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouget today. Welcome back, everybody, right here as we're at TJ Ribs on Acadian and I-10. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait. Come on out and see us next week. We're going to be the homecoming edition. We'll tell you more about that 
Coming up, we've got uh, Coach Rollins going to be in the house. The Southern Human Jukebox will be in the house. Yes, sir. We'll be listening listen to the general himself, to, to the band director himself. Good guy. You know, he got them rolling right now. I don't know right. if they lost a, I don't know if they lost a game yet. I don't think they will. They uh, will. Coach They're Taylor do a very good job. I'm looking forward to hearing from him. Unbelievable. Also, we want to announce that the alumni uh, track meet will be on Friday, October 22nd. Go to GoJackSports.com and get all the latest information on that. Got a few alumni events coming up. You can go to GoJackSports.com to get that. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, let's talk about this gold standard helmet uh, that uh, people can uh, – Football fans can actually win the win a replica of this. Yeah, so actually, you know, as they purchase one of these, they get a replica. Mm -hmm. uh, nice replica, look just like this, a small helmet and they sit in their office. But they can go to gojagsports.com and hit on the link and they can purchase this. This is all dry. This is all Southern Standard. We're going back to our Golden Standard. And uh, we, we will be wearing this helmet next year. We bring it back to gold helmets. We're in a fundraiser campaign for these helmets. Obviously, on the table right now, you have those uh, push cards on the table where you can just click your phone on and follow the links. But also, you can go to gojazzsports.com, and we're looking to break these babies out in good fashion next year. No question about that. No question about that. You mind if we use this? And look at the Columbia Blue face mask and, and how this helmet looks. We're going to put the tickets in here. How do we do that? Okay. Put the tickets in here, and we're going to uh, be giving these my tickets. They gave my tickets away here. These are my tickets and parking pass. Some there you go, Chris. lucky Pull fans going to uh, take that, and let's see who the winner is going to be. George Price. George Price. George Price in the house. Congratulations. You are the winner of my tickets for the game. George Price. Going once. Going twice. He ain't here. He's gone. Oh, whoa. Do you know who that is right there? The legend himself, Coach Tick Price. Our uh, legend. Uh, uh, those are my tickets and parking pass. I, I can't go to the game. Yeah. No, I'll pick it. No, I'll pick it. Yeah. Parking pass, too. There you go. You got so, it, my friend. Congratulations, so Coach. That is uh, Coach Ryan Price that uh, – Coach, system basketball coach, that's his dad in the house right there. No question about that. Here. So, you know, he's a legendary basketball coach himself. So, we're glad to have y'all. Thank y'all for coming tonight. No question about that. All right, now we've got a uh, question. A young man's going to ask us a question right here, uh, Mr. Tremell. And this is the VIP of it all. He's from the East Baton Rouge School Board. Celebrity. Remember. How about that? <laughs> How about stop, that, huh? Stop, stop, stop. I'm almost afraid of this question. <laughs> Man, oh, I'm telling you. Uh, All right, go ahead. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I just want to know, are there any restrictions that will limit our homecoming experience? Uh, no. So, obviously, uh, we are very excited about uh, most of the events are taking place outside where there's uh, not any restrictions. But it still will hold true to uh, game day and anything going inside of our buildings. Uh, obviously, if you're in the suites of some sort like that, you have to show a verification of your vaccine and you must wear your mask. But obviously that we know that going into our stadium, uh, you know, uh, no vaccines required, uh, no, no COVID tests required. Uh, we just highly recommend that you wear your mask and just take them off when you're eating or drinking. And so our tailgates events will follow that same rule and regulations. And so uh, we try to make sure by the advice of, of, of our medical doctors to make sure that we do most of the things outside. And so we wanted to make sure that that we follow that advice so people can come in from out of town and have a good time. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate See, that. He, Thank I you. wanted to ask him back in 1972, so he should have asked that <laughs> question. What should, no, I'm picking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Thank you. Good coach. job, my man. That's Thank what you our, for what you do. That's what our main fans right there. You look up Huntsville yeah. at the baseball game. He there. He all over the place, man. He, he go to yeah. all sports. He a true Jaguar. That's right, and, and he's the one. He's the smartest one you can tell in, in the studio. I mean, I'm on the stands. You can tell when he's talking uh, football. He ran through the A gap. No, run that way. <laughs> I mean, he's smart. You can't get those guys, those yeah. school boards. Thank you for what you do, man, because East Baton Rouge Parish uh, is looking better and better and better with our school system. So uh, we, we certainly can depend on him to bring a good homecoming crowd because he makes sure that they support all events. He yeah. here tonight, support all the games, and uh, – you know, they always invest in what we do. So, a personal thank you from me in the athletic department. Back in the day, this guy could hit the jumper like nobody else's business, Northwestern State. Watching him also, when he was head coach, if somebody messed up, I mean, he would get crazy, jump around, that suit be flying everywhere. Watch him do this again now when Lanika comes here with those uh, delicious um, 
Jurassic Park. Look how you know, big I'm these start things. stomping and jumping right now, huh? One of these things weighs 50 pounds in itself. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That thing is unbelievable. And how about the buffalo sauce? Yeah, that's one of my favorites when we come in here. I say my daughter ordered them tonight. Him, I, she and my wife over there probably got some. I bet you all the money in my pocket. Oh, man. And they got you got the ranch, which is my favorite. The buffalo sauce is delicious. The ranch is good and a, a stick of celery. But look how big. Could these be the biggest ones in the whole Baton Rouge area? So this is the special next week, That's the homecoming special. edition. All you can eat. All you can eat. And what else? And, and a, 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 see, I've already had beer. Yeah, already. yeah, you're ready, right? <laughs> a pitcher of beer. So y'all know we get here a little early. We go off strip. And he had about two beers for real. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing is just huge, man. This this is unbelievable. Yes. That's, that's Dalton Hilliard uh, style. Uh, no question. Vibes. So I, I appreciate TJ Ribs. I asked for the homecoming edition that we can have this special. They didn't shy away from it, and uh, we appreciate them very much. So we're looking for everyone to come out, homecoming edition. We got a great lineup, as you mentioned earlier. Cheerleaders will be in the house. Uh, this is our kickoff event for homecoming. We look for everybody that hears to get here about 6 o'clock, get here early. The DJ will be playing music. They got a lot of different specials going on at the bar, and we look forward to having a good time. No doubt about that. And, again, that's what it's all about. Go to GoJagSports.com. You'll be able to see all the specials that we have, all the times we're going to be doing this show throughout the football, into basketball next year and what have you. And TJ Ribs is a perfect place. We've always come here and eat ribs. They're all world famous with their ribs. No question about that. But when I came here I, I, the other day, I ordered these. Oh. So I said, okay, yeah, let me have some wings. And I saw them, and I'm like, I had to bring some home. Yeah, yeah, they, they, you know, that's a lot to put down. But all you can eat, I want to see. I, we might give away something to see who put down the most. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be that? fun next week. That's that's an idea. How about that, Rod? That's an idea. <laughs> that's an idea. Haven, I put my money on Haven. All right, all right. Uh oh, look out! That <laughs> might be fun. We could do this on TV and stuff like that. Yeah, be yeah, fun. yeah. We gonna think about something. Yeah. We gonna get something away. All right, all right. Denise, you got that? All right. Pelican Sports TV is where we get all these shows at. And, again, you can watch it right here at TJ Ribs on Thursdays. Again, we'll have one next week. We've got Coach Rollins back in the house talking about the game against Prairie View A&M. We'll also go back to the UAPB game. Uh, Kedrick Taylor from the band. I mean, it's just amazing, the band. Everybody wants to know, is the band coming? Is the band coming? And if I'm not mistaken, Fresno State said, okay, we'll sign the game for the football, but the band's got to come too, right? Yeah, well, you know, I, I tell them all the time, negotiate. We're synonymous. We come together. And so, uh, you know, that jukebox uh, bring out the best in our student athletes and, you know, we need that energy. So we try to make sure that we're together on all our travel plans and all our big games. I just think that's very important. I think down in history, uh, uh, the great band of and the great football coaches, you know, was together. And I want to make sure we keep that Southern tradition. Next year on the field together at LSU's Tiger Stadium, the Golden Band from LSU and the Human Truth Box. That's going to be so fun to watch that. Yeah, I think they're working on some stuff right now. Oh, man, that's unbelievable. That's going right. to be a great day. That's, that's crazy. Also, uh, Care South Medical and Dental will be right here again next week. All you can eat these Yardbirds right here. Unbelievable. That's next week again, 2495 and it comes with a pitcher of beer. We hope you had a good time on this show. We'll catch you back here next week again. Right Coach here. Rich got a birthday coming up Wednesday, y'all. Make sure we tell Coach Richardson happy Pete birthday. Hey, give him a hand over there.